In this lesson, we'll learn how to deal with ratio, unit price, and scientific notation. So let's start with ratio. The first thing we'll learn, uh, what is ratio exactly? So let me write that down something. So three over four. So three over four, that is a comparing with one number to others. So you could write this as a ratio uh, 3 ratio 4. Let me give an, a real example. Say like in a class, boy equal to 30, girl equal to 50. So what is boy ratio girl in that class? So that is um, 30 ratio 50. If you reduce it, so that will give you 3 ratio 5. So what is ratio? Ratio is the same as a fraction, but this is a uh, simplest form. Okay, so how about girl ratio boy? So the girl ratio boy will be the opposite of that. That is um, 5 ratio 3. How about uh, girl ratio all a student so girl ratio all a student will be 50 ratio 50 plus 3 is 80 so if you reduce it so that will give you 5 ratio 8 so let's do a, another um, practice problem so you could try to do by yourself so here I have a problem you have 16 apples and 20 oranges. Find the ratio of apple to oranges, oranges to apples, apple to all fruits. So let's do it. Um, but I want you to try by yourself and check the answer. See that you get the same thing that I get. In this section, we'll learn another problem. So the ratio of girls to boys in a swimming club was 2 ratio 4. There are 36 kids. How many boys and girls were there in that club? In order to deal with this type of problem, first of all, you need to add these two ratios together. So let's do that. So um, 2 plus 4 equal to 6. Then you need to divide uh, the total numbers. So 36 divided by 6 equal 6. Now we need to multiply with this 6, these two ratios. So um, girl equal to 2 times 6 equal 12. And then boy equal to 4 times 6 equal to 24. Now if we add them together, you will get 36. Alright, so let's do another practice problem and you try to do by yourself and check with my answer. So here is the problem. So you try by yourself uh, and see that you could get the same thing I get. So let's talk about unit price. So unit price is price of something of one unit. So say like you bought a box of candy, box of candy uh, contains 10 pack of candy, uh, cost $19. At the same rate, you don't know what is the rate, at the same rate, how much cost you for three pack of candy? So there is a formula or um, relation you could use in order to solve all kind of unit price problem. So the, uh, the formula is part over whole equal part over whole. So let's write that down and solve it. So you have 10 pack of candy cost $19 equal 3 pack of candy cost x dollar so you need to solve for x so keep that in mind 
you see I left side I put number of candy on the top you have to do the same thing on the right side let's cross multiply so multiply this and that so then you have um, 10x equal to 19 times 3 is 57 if you divided both side by 10 so then you could divide here um, 10 with 57 10 goes into 50 is 5 times is uh, 50 subtract it you get 10 put a decimal get a 0 10 goes into 70 is 7 times that is 70 so that is five dollar and seventy cent all right let's do another problem that you could try by yourself here is a problem Sam bought 12 boxes of cookies for forty eight dollars what is the cost of 18 box of cookies use the same uh, formula that I used the previous problem and see you could get uh, the answer seventy two dollars all right let's go to the next topic the next thing we'll learn is scientific notation so let me write a problem and give an example so say like I have a number seven eight nine six three how to write that as a scientific notation so if you want to write this number as a scientific notation you need to put the decimal after first digit so here I have 7.8 if you don't write the rest of the digit you should be fine but next you need to write times 10 and see after the decimal how many digits you have you have from left to the right so I have 1 2 3 4 so that answer should be 7.8 times 10 to the power 4 let's do another problem so say like I have like this uh, point zero 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 four five how to write this decimal as a scientific notation the same like the previous one after the first number you need to put a decimal so you have then you have um, four point five times ten to the power you need to count backward now one two three four five is five but you need to put a negative sign all right so let's do the opposite way how to make from scientific notation to a standard number so say like I have a number like 1.5 times 10 to the power second power so if you want to write this so I could write 150 you see the 10 to the power second then you need to put one zeros okay if you have 10 to the power third then you need to put two zeros all right let's do another one say like I have another uh, scientific notation I need to write as a standard form that is 3.5 times 10 to the power negative 3 so how you could write that so negative exponent means decimal so point zero zero three five you see this side is the exponent is 3 that's why I put two zeros right so you could try a couple of problems in the uh, practice section and see you get the same thing that I get. So here, here is a uh, poor problem. So you could try by yourself and check with this answer um, that to make sure that you get the same answer that I get. 